Hey guys, Mike Jones here with Espose and welcome to the video tutorials for Espose.pdf for .NET. In this tutorial, we will see the basic steps to create a Hello World PDF file using Espose.pdf for .NET. So we are going to talk about the steps to create a simple Hello World PDF document. First, we need to download Espose.pdf for .NET from www.espose.com. Install Espose.pdf for .NET and add its reference in sample application. We will create one text paragraph and add it to the section object of PDF. In order to remove the watermark, we will add a reference to the license file. So first, open the Espose website and select the download option from the support menu. Select Espose.pdf for .NET from the product list to the left and download the latest release of Espose.pdf for .NET. Once the file is downloaded, install it. Accept the license agreement and install the product using default options or you may consider changing the product installation path. Product is installed to the default location. Open Visual Studio, select the file menu, then select new menu and finally select the project option. Select Windows Form Application as the project type and if you want specify the project name. We are using the name suggested by Visual Studio. Now we need to add an espose.pdf.dll reference in our project. Select the Browse tab and navigate to the location where espose.pdf for .NET is installed. As the target framework of our project is .NET Framework 4.0 Client Profile. We are adding espose.pdf.dll under the .NET 4.0 Client Profile folder. Now drag the button control onto the Windows form. Double click button 1 to add code behind the button's click event. The first step in the code is to add a reference to espose.pdf.generator namespace. Instantiate a PDF class instance. Now create a section object and add it to the collection of PDF instance. Create a text paragraph with hello world as a sample string. Add the text paragraph to a collection of the section object. Now save the PDF document. Start debugging the code. Press button 1 to execute the PDF generation code. PDF file is generated. Open the PDF file to view its contents. Because we are using espose.pdf for .NET in trial mode, an evaluation watermark is displayed. Check PDF properties to see the PDF producer information. Now let's try using the license file in our code. Instantiate the license object. Specify the license file path information in the setLicense method. Make sure that the path and file name information is correct. Start debugging the code. Press button 1 to execute the PDF generation code. Open the PDF and notice that the watermark has been removed. Delete the PDF as we are going to make some changes in the code. Now let's add the license file to the project. Right click the license file and select properties. Specify the build action as embedded resource. Remove path information from the set license method. Select project properties and get the default namespace information. Add the default namespace information as a prefix to the license file name in the set license method. When using the license file as an embedded resource, set the value of the embedded property to true. Start debugging the code and press button 1. Open the PDF and notice that no watermark appears. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free.